Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's a Saturday morning and we are getting ready to start a really awesome project in the backyard. We have landscaped this side of the yard, but now we have decided to build two pergolas. Uh, one will be a lounging side with swings and a hammock and then the other side it'll be kind of an L shape so the other L shape will or the other short side will be a playground for the kids. We are really excited and today we are breaking ground. <laughs> so we rented this what do you call it? Post hole digger. It was $75 to rent and um, it's going to drill five holes for us for our vertical uh, poles. So Let's get started. How far am I going? Well, this is 20 feet. So okay. You tell me how far off of that you Well, let's see what it looks like right here. So this side will be 20 feet long. So we're just trying to decide where we want it to go. That gives enough room for walking, but what about a lawn mower? Probably needs to go over a little bit for our gardener. So the reasoning for renting this today is because the last time my husband dug holes on his own to build that, <laughs> to build this side fencing area, he got severe carpal tunnel. So we decided, let's not do that again. So this is why we are renting this device today. So renting this bad boy was worth every single penny. If you do this, definitely get this because it took us about an hour and a half. And if we hadn't have had this, it would have taken my husband like at least all day, maybe a second day. So money well spent. Now we get to put the verticals in with the concrete. Okay, so these are 12 foot posts. And what type of wood is it? Pressure treated. Pressure treated. So it's treated to withstand sprinklers and all that. And that's what we used on our garden beds and it's worked great for the last few years. So these are 12 footers so that we can cut them where we want them to go <laughs> or how high we want the trellis to be for the pergola. So it is totally leveled. We've secured it. And now we're going to use this quick rate concrete stuff and should work great. Hi. You saying hi? Hi. We set up our little beach umbrella here. It was sunny around lunchtime. The kids were wanting to play board games and so. You say I hi? rolled down the windows. Very nice. Are you having fun? Okay, I also wanted to add real quick um, the way to put your posts in to keep them level is we are using just pieces of fencing wood and leftover wood that we had in our garage to hold up the posts while we put the concrete in and we're using a level to make sure that they are leveled. So for those that wanted an explanation, there you go. Okay, so we marked where we want our notches to be. Is that what you call it? I don't know either. <laughs> They're four inches in, and uh, so it looks like a so it looks like a pergola.
He surprised me out here. I can't believe he did. He put that up all by himself. <laughs> you need to? Well, we'll put this one up and then we'll check. Okay. <laughs> it looks really good, babe. So, we it's not totally centered, as you can see with my hand, uh, on purpose because we're putting the a swing. It's like a rope swing, climbing rope thing. <laughs> Hey friends, happy Sunday and welcome to day two of our project. <laughs> so uh, last night my husband worked on this a lot. He got all of this done last night. Uh, he is working right now on doing the trellis part of the pergola. I guess that's what you call it because I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyways, he's taking two by fours and he's cutting them down the middle to make them like two by twos. And then he's slanting the angles at the top and they are three feet long each. So, the way that we did this, the only way that we could really figure out how to do this right is to hang one here and hang one at the end. Take the measurement, split it down the middle and do the middle one. And then take the, the length of the middle one over and then put one here and then put one there and there. So I hope that makes sense because I don't know how else to explain it. So the swings came in the mail today. So as soon as he gets this done, this one is done for the most part, except for the middle post that will be the anchor for hanging the swings and uh, the rope swing and the skateboard swing that we have coming. And so that one hasn't gotten here yet. Uh, but I'll show you that along the way. So hope you're having a great day. Okay, so this is how far we got on day two. So we finished the slats at the top and we put up the kids climbing rope swing. Um, there's a little frustration going on and uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, Bayou, are you going to the bathroom? Yes, you are. <laughs> um, and my husband just had to kind of walk away from it tonight. So. It's pretty wobbly. Uh, of course, you're going to be seeing this when we already come up with a solution, hopefully. Uh, but we're pretty bummed because even this one is wobbly. Uh, so all afternoon, we've been coming up trying to figure out different solutions. We've been on YouTube, we've Googled it, we've seen what other people do. And what's interesting is so many people have such a similar looking pergola and yet, tons of swings on it and they don't do anything and they use four by four posts like we used so uh the solution that we're going to try first of course we we're over budget which is kind of frustrating it's part of our problem is that we're over budget um but it doesn't matter it has to get done it has to be done right happy day three of our backyard project so we're coming up with a solution to keep the pergola from being wobbly. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Okay, so we're doing two things. We're going to brace the just the insides of this pergola with these 4x4s. These are actually extras that we're hanging. There we go. Hanging from up there. Um, they are braced with bolts and nails. We are also, and we can't do the outsides obviously because this one is too short, uh, but we're also going to put two by sixes uh, flanking both sides, this side and the back side, making them real snug and tight there. So I hope that helps. My husband went to go get the wood right now. And we just got the hammock swings and the hammock in the mail, well not the mail, delivered today. So, we're super excited. Hey friends, I think my last update for you guys was a few days ago, a lot has happened. We have been just like trying to figure out a solution to our structural issues. And I think we've come up with a fantastic solution. So my husband right now is attaching the two by sixes to this, this side of the pergola 
we have our hammocks up. It's looking fantastic. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, so after much consideration of what we can do to make this stronger, are you gonna cut right now? Oh, okay. Um, we're doing a few things. So we have put up these braces on uh, the posts. Um, we've put the two by sixes up on the post to make them stronger. Um, we're also putting, here's the first one, braces to actually tie the two units together. So there will be two more bracings uh, from this uh, bolt and that bolt, and they will go over, they're gonna go across. We had a special order, 20 foot uh, pre-treated pieces of wood to do that. Uh, but I think it's going to work out really well. So that's what we're working on today. Hey, I think we are on day eight. There have been two or three days of breaks. Uh, first of all, we had to special order this wood that will be for the bracing. And my husband deserved a good little rest because <laughs> he's done so much. So we finally got the wood in, got it transported here. Um, he's cutting it now and bracing it up on our pergolas. Let me show you. Isn't it gorgeous? So there's two more hammock swings. The, we have two purple ones and two orange ones that can go over there if we don't want the long hammock there. But oh, it's been glorious. The kids and I and my husband, oh, we've all just enjoyed this so much. I am so excited. Okay, so these are 20 foot four by four pressure treated uh, pieces of wood. How much were they each? Forty-three dollars each. We ordered two, and uh, he's going to brace them. Now I'm so excited. Uh, so, of course, with our hammock swings, we don't ever swing high enough or crazy enough to make the structure wobbly. It's just all the kids' toys, <laughs> uh, and this right side of the kids playground area is very secured. It's just this left side that has the rope swing on it that is just causing some uneasy feelings. So we've decided to brace it this way and we're really excited. I'm not sure if we're going to add shade to the top. I don't know what we're doing but uh, I think it's going to look like it was always meant to be this way. project is done. My husband actually just completed it just minutes ago. And this was the perfect solution. It added so much support to the swing set. The kids absolutely love it. I'm excited to share it with you. I hope that this inspires you to make your own fantastic hammock swing set. Thank you.